Hello once again, my fellow Star Trek fans, my fellow modelers, and my fellow lovers of everything that's interesting. I got another little goodie to show you, Star Trek related. Now, not that long ago, I had done a video showing you guys a little model kit for a rainy day, and that was the Titanic. And it was the um, kind of like the cardboard punch out 3D puzzle that was by Ravel and they had done a Titanic. Well, I want to show you something along those lines today, and it involves the Klingons. We've got the pre-made, pre-decorated D7 Klingon battle cruiser. And this is the snap fit. You can see 40 easy snap fit parts. No glue or paint needed. You see the decals are already on there as well. Let's see the same decals on the, uh, the D7 that we had made not that long ago. And this one, I believe, is 1,000 one scale. Let me see. You can see it through the front of the box. And you can see it comes with its own handsome display base. The Klingons are a humanoid warrior species originating from the M-class planet, Konos, pronounced Kronos. One of the major powers in the galaxy, they created an interstellar military force to be respected and feared. The Klingon D-7 battlecruiser formed the backbone of the Klingon defense force for decades with its cloaking device and massive armament. This 1-1000 scale Easy to assemble snap kit, fits together snap with snap parts and requires no glue or paint. The pre-decorated ship features authentic markings and its own display stand. I tried looking for the Enterprise, but I really can't find this one. Another pre-decorated easy to assemble kit, the Starship Enterprise. I try to find that one, but I really haven't been able to. I found the 12500 scale, but I wanted to, to see that one. But you can see the size of the box. And we got the Klingon logo. Star Trek, the original series, and I think it's the same on both sides. Yeah. And there's nothing really on the top. Let's see. Let me see if there's a date on the bottom. Round two models, and this is from 2015. Let's see, does that get the part number on that little sticker? Polar Lights 11000 scale Klingon D7 Battle Cruiser Snap Kit, new. X001X9S05P. I don't know if that's the actual kit number or not. But when I find a kit number, I'll put it up to you guys like I usually do. And that is the pre-decorated pre one. So why don't we take it over to the desk and I'll show you what's in this quick little kit for a rainy day. There, a little more light over here. And again, it might be a rainy day. You got uh, some time on your hands, could be a weekend. And you're looking to kill a little bit of time and you want to have a little bit of fun. Just like the Titanic, this one is really easy to put together, and you can just snap it together. It doesn't need glue or paint. So why don't we open it up? You can see how they seal it. So let's go in through the top. Well, there's a lot in this, a lot that you can't see. All right. Now let's put that over there for now. Actually, let's put that over here. All right, let's check some of this stuff out. We got the little 
pamphlets that usually come in the polo lights. We got the polo lights kits, which I cast replicas. You can see the 50th anniversary of the Enterprise. And some other vehicle kits. And there's quite a bit of kits in this one, more car models. And on the back, you can see more releases coming out. And again, this is what, 2015 I had said. So it shows you all the upcoming model kits that'll be available from round two. You get the postcard where you can sign up. <clears throat> and finally, we have the instruction sheet. So let's check out the instructions and we'll see how different it is from the uh, the original one. Well, the one for the kit that's not uh, pre-painted or decorated. And of course, I'll put all the instructions up for you guys to see. And this is P-O-L-937-06. Let's go to part one. We've got the main body. we got the top and the bottom. Pretty straightforward. And you can see, I'm not sure if these are the vents on either side. And then you can see the engineering decks that go on top over there. And we got the formation of the bridge at the front of the ship and the officer quarters up top. And then you can see the long section that goes down to the secondary hull. And you can see what uh, AMT referred to this as the radio. But later on, we've known that to be a photon torpedo tube. And you can see the warp nacelles. Putting them together, pretty straightforward. And then the final assembly, part six. So this is really, really straightforward. It's even got the display base. Nice. So again, this will be really easy to put together when you're looking to kill some time. <clears throat> and we have the, um, the dome base. The round two. Let's go ahead. I'll open it up and show it to you guys. I'm not going to put this together only because, unfortunately, I don't have the room to, to put it after. So the box takes up less room than the actual model does. So, But I will show you everything in this kit. All right. So we've got the base, the half dome base. Kind of looks like a satellite radar dish. Of course, the, uh, let's see. It's got a wire. <clears throat> you can see where the wire is going to go through. And the ship is going to rest on that. It should be a piece. And it looks like there's a red piece on the inside. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. But that could be a impulse engine. Let's see. And I know there's another piece that this goes to. It's probably in uh, another part of the kit or in another bag because uh, I would have seen it in the bag. But we got to wait to put the base together. So let's go ahead and we're going to look at some of the Klingon parts for the, looks like the uh, main body. So let's show you guys. This is the underside. I love that color. Look at the Klingon logo from the Klingon Empire. Again, this is 1 1,000 scale. <clears throat> Let's see what else is in here. We've got the other half of the long section that connects both um, hulls. And you can see the, hopefully you can see the painting on it. You 
You can see the windows. Looking pretty good. And looks like we've got part of the uh, nacelle. And let's see. I'm go like this. And looks like we've got the other side. You can see it's already pre-colored or pre-painted. And I think this is for the um, what they call the antenna in the AMT kit. And you can see this is going to go right inside over here. And let's see if they keep some of it out because the AMT kit... No, it actually looks like it's going to go in and keep it flush, like it uh, looks in the uh, filming model. But the AMT, the way it goes in, it sticks out just a little bit. And they actually refer to it as the antenna. All right, that's the first bag of parts. Let's check out this one. And you can see this one is more of the, um, the gray. Oh, it's not open. I thought it was open. This supposedly is brand new, so would not have been open before. And you guys can see the top. Actually, let me get these pieces out for you. And look at the top of the uh, engineering decks. AMT had a like a chrome piece that goes behind there and reflected it really nicely. It's too bad they didn't do that for uh, polar lights. But you can see these are all the pieces that are going to fit the uh, section together. And we have the side panels. Nice. And I think this is where that red piece that I showed you guys is going to go, right over there. And we've got the top. I don't remember the Klingon logo being on the top. But I could be wrong. And in the other part... This is the only thing in the bag. So you can see these are the, the parts that have that little, that little square on it. On the vents where, let's, let me show you guys. That's we're gonna go just like that. Or gonna go like that. So, and we've got the two, um, the, the vents that are gonna go on the sides of this section. And this is in uh, silver plastic. Uh, let's see. It looks like we have another bag that has the, uh, the bridge section. So let's open this. There's quite a few parts in this. Let's see. This part, there's a parts tree in this one as well. You guys can see the, the top of the bridge. And this looks like is the piece that goes in to the base. Yep, and then the um, the stand goes in just like that. Actually, let me get it for you. It'll go right into this section, and then the ship will rest on there. So that's a good idea. And then we have, looks like the bottom section or the bottom of the bridge area. And we've got the other two halves, which will be the bottoms, the inside bottoms of the warp nacelles. And lastly, we have the uh, two sections that I think are gonna go on the front. That's everything in that bag. And that's it for the bags. I think they put this on just says like uh, to show you guys what's in the kit. You can see we've got the same piece. This is the other side. 
of this section. Actually, probably should go like this. And this would be the other half. This part is, it looks like the port side, and that's the starboard side. And you've got the, uh, the top uh, where the officer's quarters and the bridge is going to go. And then you've got the secondary hull. Of course, it'll go like this. So, it looks like basically that's everything that comes in this kit. And that is the finished product. Again, I, I would make it. I just... I'm running out of space, um, <laughs> especially for my built models to put on display. I don't have a lot of room. I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep it in the box. Uh, just cause if I make it, then I'm gonna have to find another place for another model where it's easier to just keep the box stored or in view anyway on display. So my friends, if you are curious on what was in this kit, this is the 40 Easy Snap Fit Parts. This is the Polar Lights Klingon D7 Battle Cruiser. One 1,000 scale pre-decorated assembly kit. And I'm gonna keep my eyes out for the USS Enterprise to show you that one as well, because that'll be fun. And again, guys, you can get these relatively inexpensive. I actually got this off Amazon for like $17.99 on sale. So they are out there. So I said, if you got like a, a day where you're looking to kill some time and you, you want to get creative or make a model where it's not going to be too um, involved, you can pick up one of these, keep it aside for a rainy day and for a little project, fun little project um, involving Star Trek. So my friends, I hope you enjoyed this quick little video and I'll talk to you soon.